Salmon is one of those fish, it's a round fish. Uh, you know the difference between a round fish and a flat fish? The round fish swim like this with eyes on either side of the head, and the flat fish swims like this, like a flounder, a sole, a place, a dover sole, those fish. All right, halibut. Uh, this is a round fish, and all round fish are filleted the same. Now, I was going to try to get a whole fish so I could show you how to take it off the bone, but we couldn't find one. So we've got two fillets here. I'll show you how to clean them up, how to skin them, and then uh, we're going to take them upstairs, and we're going to cook them. Okay, this is the salmon. Now, you can see that there's a little bit of membrane left on the belly. So we're going to clean that off. A little bit of bone here. Now, sometimes there is a pin bone in the salmon which runs right along here. These have been removed. Whenever you go to a, a fish market and you buy a fish like this, ask them to remove the pin bones. They have a little pair of pliers in the back and they pull them out. These bones are very soft, but they can be annoying if you were to eat one. Okay? Now, we're going to take the skin off of this one. And the way you take skin off of a fish, you cut down to the fish, to the skin. You want to be careful you don't go through it. Now you turn the knife on an angle and then you grab the skin and you pull it back against the knife. Okay? And you take the skin comes off and you have a completely filleted piece of fish. Okay? We'll repeat the process with this one. Now, if you were getting a whole fish, you would have the fish head left and the bones left. Uh, that's a very good, you can make a very good fish stock with it for a salmon chowder, salmon corn chowder, or a salmon bisque, all right? So it doesn't have to go to waste. Or you can put it in your garden, all right, and uh, hope that it'll yield a fertile soil. All right, we take the belly piece off. Once again, the knife down to the skin, turn the blade, and you keep it on an angle as you pull against the blade because if you don't, then you leave too much meat on the salmon and just like the tenderloin, it's expensive and you want to use it all on the plate, okay? So that's how you take this. This was the most important thing I wanted you to see how to do. And frankly, you could get this done at the seafood market. You could have the fish done for you any way you want. You can have them cut it into steaks. You can have them cut it into fillets. You can have it skinless. Sometimes people enjoy having the salmon skin left on. You put it into a pan with the skin down first and then it crisps up the skin very nicely, and that salmon skin is very, very tasty, okay? But for the most part, with grouper and snapper and things like that, people want the skin taken off of them. And if you wanted to take it off, now you know how to do it, all right? This program is brought to you by Miami Culinary Institute at Miami-Dade College. For more information about the schools and the culinarium program, please visit www.miamidadeculinary.com or call 305-237-3276.